the Blue Dog Caucus, which has traditionally been like sort of like the the most conservative caucus in the Democrats, has fractured. And supposedly, it's only about the name thing. There are uh, 15 members, uh, congressional members, uh, who are uh, scheduled to join the Blue Dog Caucus. And the Blue Dog Caucus used to be powerful. It is not nearly as powerful as it was. 15 members is still a substantial amount of members. You know, like uh, the, the squad was like, five people. Now I think we're up to like eight or nine. Yeah. So we're getting there. But even at 15, there's only so much they could do. And, um, and by nature of being blue dog, they're also getting a lot of corporate money. They're also protected by uh, the establishment in many respects. So their, their power probably is even greater than their sheer numbers. However, the, um, a couple of blue dogs, including Representative Abigail Spanberger from, uh, from Virginia, and Mikey Sherrill, she is from New, New Jersey, and uh, apparently uh, one other, somebody had mentioned, uh, what is it, uh, Wiley Nickel? From North Carolina. From North Carolina. She was going to enter the Blue Dogs. They have gotten into a fight with the rest of the Blue Dogs because they wanted to rebrand the Blue Dogs as the Common Sense Coalition. Not to be confused with the No Labels Coalition or the, what is it, Get Things Done? Oh, uh, problem, problem Solvers. solvers. Or oh, the Problem Solvers. Now, the problem solvers are a coalition of Democrats and Republicans. Bipartisan. And they're bipartisan. And so they deal, they solve problems like what happens if you can't get a speaker and the entire Congress. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. They didn't solve that mm -mm. problem. That, that would have been the most obvious problem for them to solve. The problem they solved was how do we uh, maintain the interests of uh, corporations and big money in a way that makes it sound like we're actually dealing with problems. It's, that's what they, that's yeah, they, the problem. They is. do what Manchin's job, but just in the house. Yeah, exactly. They solve the problem of democracy. Exactly. And uh, so some of them, the women in this group, wanted to rebrand the Blue Dogs as the Common Sense Coalition because the Blue Dogs, that name sort of derived from when they were sort of more a little Dixiecratish. Mm -hmm. They weren't quite Dixiecrats, but they were pretty close. And uh, apparently, like, sort of people still think of it as a Southern Boys Club. Um, no. They are, are supposedly for fiscal responsibility, which means uh, tax cuts go to wealthy people. Uh, Low-income people should not get money because that would encourage them to uh, basically live uh, fuller lives and not be and not suppress wages, mm. and so that's what fiscal responsibility means there, and a na and national security, which means you know we need to open up more bases in the South and provide more money to uh, you know things like Boeing and Abigail Spanberger, yeah, former uh, CIA officer. That's going to be something that's right in her wheelhouse, and she probably understands the value of effective branding as a way to uh, do things that are quite nefarious more subtly. But it seems right now that um, at least three of these people have branched off um, and there was a, a secret ballot vote to reject the new name um, and Representative Ed Case, David Scott, Sh Brad Schneider, Luke Correa, Spanberger and Cheryl all left the group. So it's I guess it's some guys too as well. Um, so they split, I think, into like a group of seven and a group of eight. Wonderful. So um, Josh Gottheimer, Jared Golden wanted to uh, keep the uh, the name as it was. Sanford Bishop, Mike uh, Thompson. I I I I have no idea why you would. Um, why you would sink a? Uh, oh, I guess N Willie Wiley Nickel was still one of the eight remaining. Okay, so Bishop Thompson, Gottheimer, Golden, uh, Quayar, Costa, Vincente Gonzalez, and Wiley Nickel uh, remaining in the Blue Dogs, 
And, and I can't speak for Nickel, sorry to interrupt you say it, but those are, I just have to say for anyone unfamiliar, probably seven of like the absolute worst Democratic members of Congress. Without a doubt. <laughs> yes. Like, awful. <laughs> but the fact that they're splitting up, and who knows, maybe this is like Spamberger or uh, Cheryl's play to... to Soften their image. Yeah, that, I think that's it. But maybe they also feel like they can have more power if they start their own little clique. But the 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 uh, fact that they've broken up into two um, separate groups is only good news. Let them fight. And also keep in mind that Hakeem Jeffries, while his politics may be even more odious than uh, Pelosi's, although that's arguable, but I think it I think they are actually in some respects even. I agree. Um, he doesn't necessarily, and even though he was bequeathed the the uh, leadership position, he doesn't necessarily have control over this caucus in the way that um, Pelosi did. And he doesn't necessarily have the savvy on how to maneuver this caucus in the way that Pelosi did. You know, um, just because he was supported, or at least not actively fought, in his ascension to the role of speaker, or I should say a uh, uh, minority leader in this instance, doesn't mean that it's done so because everybody thinks he could be a strong, effective leader. It may behoove some people in the caucus to have a weak, ineffective leader. Mm. Um, because much of what the leader does is impose discipline on its members, and some members may have a different idea of what the, the the caucus should do. And, you know, I think this came up in a conversation that we had early on with uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Omar, that would it be better to have someone who was even less ideologically aligned, but just more inept and weaker than a strong leader who was more aligned i mean i don't know but it's something to, to contemplate as we go forward we won't see these things when the democrats are not in power we will see them they will come out more when they get power that's the way the they, they work